We'll start with Ben. Javon says, what, what's it been like to add John Campbell to the room this offseason? We just talked to him. It seems like quite the, the character with, with a lot of energy. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, when I met John, I knew off the rip what kind of guy he was. An uh, incredible guy, great athlete, and just a good mindset. So, man, he's been a great guy since I've met him, and uh, I have nothing bad to say about him. He's, he's going to continue to grow and be a great guy here and a great help for us as a, a team. Austin Casey. Joel, it seems like some of those younger defensive linemen have developed nicely. Who's impressed you going against those that you know, work with you still in practice? And then what's that unit like now compared to a year ago? Um, it's a major change because a lot of new guys are coming in, as you said, and we're trying to get everybody reps and stuff like that. Um, I wouldn't say I've got a, a lot of opportunities to go against those younger guys, but I constantly see those guys working every day, whether it's whether we're in pods, one-on-ones, or whatever we're doing outside of teamwork. I constantly see those guys working, so I know they're heading in the right direction. But when I get a, when I get the opportunity to line up, it's mostly against guys that I've kind of played against over the uh, spring and stuff like that. So. I continue to see even the younger guys watching those older guys go in. And as the periods go on and as the, the twos and threes go, I can constantly check out those guys and see that they're working as well. So pretty good uh, guys coming in as far as young guys, defense and offense, actually. If someone saw you in practice today, I don't think they would know that it's a Monday morning, it's early, a little bit muggy weather. You just have such an energy about you. Where does that come from, that attitude, and being able to be the person to hype everyone else up? Uh, it come from East St. Louis, Illinois, where I'm from. Um, just brought it with me when I got here as a freshman. I never, never, it never left me, and it's gonna stay with me for the rest of my life. Um, basically, I wake up every day and I feel that I, I, it's a, it's an urge to go be better. Like it's not a, a wake up and I gotta go do something. It's a, it's a wake up and I'm finna make something happen or finna go do, be better or whatever the case may be. I'm never trying to take a step backwards. So it's just a mindset. It's just who I am as a person. I can't change that. Last How much has, you know, you talked about having that energy sort of as a natural thing, but as you've gotten over here, a couple of other veterans, you know, were big presence guys, and, you know, Rice and Carver, who have left. And in terms of what, did that, did that change you? I mean, did that make you feel like, okay, like now I really got to bring this? Uh, no, nah, I was the same guy. I'm the same guy as I was last year. It's just as far as the football standpoint. I'm pushing even further every day because I know those guys are gone. And our road isn't bumpy as far as an old lineman. Like, we got, we can have guys plug in and it'll be the exact same offensive line or even better that you've seen in the past. So it's not really a big panic for us. We know we got guys that can fit into those spots and get this national championship for us. So we're basically working every day just to get to that point, to, to get to that point of maximizing our ability so we can go ahead and go out there and play and show, really just show everybody what type of team we are this year. John Campbell was talking about how great it is that there are Waffle House here in uh, Knoxville because we didn't have any in Miami. Have you been to the Waffle House with John Campbell? Uh, I haven't made it to the Waffle House with John Campbell before, man, but I had a few great experiences with him before. After the spring, we got a chance to go work out, um, get a good workout in out of town, get away from all of this. And, uh, man, we're going to definitely get to a Waffle House, though, for the season start. So, now nah, we ain't made it to one yet. It means everything to me because um, without having love for the guy next to you or anybody on your team, you're not going to play to your best ability for that person. Um, it's all up to the individual himself, whether it's um, an offensive, offensive line, defensive lineman, um, a big skilled person, or whoever, whatever position it is, if we're a team, we're all working together to fulfill each other's like goals and stuff like that. And we all have one goal, which is a national championship. Really being consistent. I mean, that's the that's the really what everybody want to see out of me: consistency and just me being able to uh, just finish. So basically, 
uh, that was my main goal starting from the spring and going into the fall was just stay consistent and be the best guy you could be every day and push all the people around you to be the best that they could be because I I know the process of this spring to fall camp it gets muggy it gets it gets in a dark place for a lot of guys so it's up to me it's up to a lot of other guys to pull those guys up and bring us together as a team before we get this thing kicking in September. Um, the right tackle position, anybody on our team could play. Any tackle we have could play it. I, I feel like we got guys that could just go in and play at any moment in time of the game, I, and I feel no different. Like, no matter who's next to me, I get the same amount of effort, the same amount of strain, and the same amount of, like, want to from each guy that lines up next to me every time we take a rep at O-line. Like, it's nothing different. Nico obviously came in with a lot of expectations, but he's been around since the bowl practice. What have you seen from him the way he's handled himself, considering all of the attention he got coming in? Um, two things. One is growth, and the second is improvement. Because, like I said, Nico uh, came in as a highly rated guy. We, we knew what we wanted to do with him and how he could help us. And he's really been playing along with that. Ever since he got here, he's been going every single day trying to reach that goal of being the best that he could be so he can get his opportunity and shine. So he's been a great guy. Glad he's got glad, glad he's here and he will continue to grow and be a great player in the future for us. Devontae, when you looked at sort of your, your film from last season and kind of did the breakdown of everything, what, what did you like about what you did and what did you want to improve? <coughs> Just the actual football stuff. Um, as far as me, I want to be able to really, I, I have I have a great time with what I'm doing now. Really pass that and a lot, get into run sets and a lot of stuff. But the main thing I really wanted to focus on, and I seen, was like just me being able to change direction really good and and really just stay on guys for longer than what I'm supposed to. Being able to hold on an extra four or five seconds when it gets rough and when it gets to those deep balls needing to be thrown and stuff like that. Just being able to finish and complete my job, but not only be able to help other guys around me, no matter what we're doing, wherever wherever we're, we're taking the ball, if, whether I'm helping my right tackle, helping my center, I just want to be able to move the ball and just really play. And what I've seen from last year is the, I can do all of those things, but it's just tiny things that might interrupt. So I, just getting those tiny things fixed would be the, be the key for me to finishing.